For the first time in 55 years, there's a hemp harvest in the United States. I dreamed of this day uh, for many, many years, and to see this right now gives me chills. Hemp advocates see opportunity in the crop that is used for fiber to make rope, clothes, keychains, and bracelets. Volunteer harvesters who drove hours to southern Colorado tout it as a biofuel that can be ingested. I'm a hemp chef. I cook with industrial hemp. Um, I make breads, oatmeals, cookies. Hemp is a cousin to the better known marijuana plant. Growing it remains illegal under federal law. But Colorado farmers, bolstered by the feds saying they won't step in after voters legalize marijuana and hemp, harvested 25 fields. I'm in the 64 and that really kind of opened the country's eyes to, to, well, you know, to marijuana and that opened the door for the legislature to, for hemp to be, be able to be, you know, planted. After farmers were encouraged to grow hemp during World War II, it was last grown in 1958. It looks kind of piddly, if you will. Laughlin and other farmers are starting from scratch. This field is being harvested by hand because of the weeds and leftover wheat from previous crops. That, you know, they knew how to grow hemp. You know, we, haven't, we don't know what we're doing, basically. Over the next three years, you're going to see these fields get denser and denser and denser. It's a hope that hemp advocates are now able to hold in their hands. Ten other states have also passed laws allowing hemp cultivation. Peter Banda, Associated Press, Springfield, Colorado.